on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, hello, Jethro. He's here for moral support, right? Yeah, he's okay. here for moral support. So we've been doing everything we can to help Leo fight the Chagas disease after he was first diagnosed with it. He's been on a daily dose of various pills. He was underweight, he was barely 50 pounds, just not doing good. 61.4, he looks great. I mean, he's definitely got more pep in his step. He looks like he feels better. All right, let's go ahead and back here. But, you know, there could still be some underlying severe problems going on with him because of this disease. So we're gonna bring him back to Dr. Kristen to get a checkup. All right, give me a second. And see what the next step is in his prognosis. Hound madness. <laughs> hey, how are my two baby boys? How shiny his coat is. Everything oh, looks thank better. thank you. I'm so happy. Leo, he's done much better on the medication. He's gained at least 10 pounds since I've seen him last. He just kind of blossomed. It's pretty exciting and encouraging, of course. You know, I don't know, you know, if it's going to continue, but pretty excited about it. It's fortunate now that we can find them earlier because before there was no option. Right. Right. And now look at you. You're not <laughs> messed. So then we're gonna we're gonna test him again then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're looking for a decrease in the number that he previously had to know that we're getting somewhere. So we take the blood and then we have to ship it out to a special lab in Texas. You know, it's always it's there's a lot, a lot of waiting by the fax machine or the email. That'll have to go out to the lab and right. we'll see. But his heart, he's got a great rhythm, no murmur. You hear that? He looks fabulous. You're all heart. You're all heart, Leaf and Leo. Yeah, he's extremely adoptable, huh? He's, oh my God, he, he just he just loves, he just wants dogs. Yeah. Dogs, dogs, and more dogs. Of course, we're not totally out of the woods yet, but Leo has already made such an improvement. Oh, I'm so happy for Leo. you. I always get extremely excited when we get any kind of positive response because there's a lot of trial and error that happens. It was extremely exciting. All right. So all right, well, let me go do all this. I'm hoping eventually maybe that this will end up being something that gets published and gets put in as part of a treatment protocol, you know, where there wasn't one previously. You look so good, boy. I'm gonna try to keep from, okay, you got them. killers. Yeah. They're walking you? Oh, yeah. There is no way to run a rescue without a great vet. I always knew we had an amazing vet with Dr. Kristen, but to be this dedicated to tracking down and finding this, what we hope to be a, a permanent treatment, she single-handedly saved some great dogs. Come on, come on. 